So we're now on to um, uh, proclamation, uh, declaring August 2022 as Muslim Appreciation and Awareness Month, uh, presented to uh, Munir Sifi of the Islamic Center of Livermore. Uh, and Councilmember Monroe will read the proclamation. It gives me a great pleasure to present this, this uh, proclamation for Muslim Appreciation Awareness Month. Uh, and I will read it as follows. Um, unfortunately, I've tried holding this up to Zoom, and because of the nature of Zoom background, um, didn't work so well. But trust me, it's a lovely proclamation, and we will be delivering it in person to uh, the Islamic Center shortly. Um, this is what it says. Whereas the city of Livermore has been and continues to be home to people of different national origins, immigration, or refugee status, cultures, histories, races, ethnicities, religious affiliations, or none, gender identities, sexual orientations, ages, education, economic status, and physical, mental, or emotional abilities. Our strength is derived from our diversity and inclusiveness, from respecting one another, from welcoming immigrants and others, and from collaborating with one another across our differences. And whereas the city council believes that a city can best stand against bigotry, intolerance, and hate through leading by example and living our shared community values of welcome, inclusion, and respect, and by developing common ground in venues that allow us to talk and work together in service to each other and our community. And whereas Muslims have been part of the U.S. history from its beginning and have contributed to the production of wealth and cons the construction of the nation, they are also part of the rich history of the civil rights movement. Over 90,000 Muslims live in Alameda County and make innumerable contributions to the cultural, political, and economic fabric and well-being of our state and our country. And whereas the COVID-19 pandemic forced the temporary closure of the Islamic Center of Livermore and other mosques in the Tri-Valley, tri during this time, these mosques and community organizations provided online programming, and service, service sermons with small faith group prayers outside. They also answered the call for help by donating funds, distributing food, and by sewing masks to help those on the front line. And they have educated their congregations about social distancing guidelines and practices to keep the community safe. Now, therefore, the City Council of the City of Livermore proclaims August 2022 as Muslim Appreciation and Awareness Month and thanks the members of the Islamic Center of Livermore for their contributions to the city and encourages members of the community to come together to celebrate our diversity. And that's on behalf of the City Council of Livermore and the actual proclamation. I'm going to see if I actually can hold it up here. Oh, no, it really doesn't work. Um, that will be delivered to uh, to the Islamic Center um, tomorrow or the next day. Thank you so much. Hello, Council. Yes. Yes, thank you so much for allowing me to speak. This is Munir Safi with the uh, Muslim Community Center. Uh, good evening, Mayor and Council. Thank you so much for honoring our state's designation of August being Muslim Appreciation and Awareness Month. Uh, this is the seventh year this designation has happened in California, uh, and this is the second year this happened in Livermore. I can tell you the hundreds of Muslim families in Livermore and the nearly 15,000 Muslims in the Tri-Valley we truly appreciate the Livermore City Council presenting this proclamation today. Uh, so I'm representing the Pleasanton Muslim Community Center. We um, serve the entire Tri-Valley. Uh, we're a vibrant regional mosque, and we've been on uh, in Pleasanton for the past 11 years. And I'm also joined by colleagues and congregation from the Islamic Center of Livermore. They're all, they were watching online and probably are still watching. Uh, I just want to quickly say American Muslims, we've lived and contributed to our community since our country's founding. In the last decade and a half, the impact of uh, Islamophobia has been real. But despite this, we continue to do our blood drives, our voting drives, our highway cleanups, our uh, weekly food distributions. Uh, we have an open door policy at our Friday services. We serve as a Red Cross disaster site, uh, host ESL classes, interfaith uh, events, open houses. Uh, we're a green mosque, special needs friendly mosque. So you can hear we're just part and parcel of our community. And I can tell you that this recognition makes a world of difference for your Livermore constituents who are Muslim. So again, on behalf of Livermore residents that are Muslim and Tri-Valley residents who are Muslim, we thank you so much for this proclamation and this recognition. Thank you. 
Well, thank you for all you do, and, and thank you, uh, Councilmember Monroe, for uh, uh, recognizing that he was still in the audience. So thank you very much. Thank you.